What's up everybody? Sean here with another Live to Roll video. Uh, this is going to be a new series of videos I'm going to start on the channel. And basically they're just going to be um, stories that I have, either, that I've gone through basically. Some good, some bad, um, you know, just scary stuff, good stuff, anything like that. Just kind of personal stories. Um, so this first one I'm going to start with is kind of a scary story. And this is something that traumatized me kind of early on. Um, a couple years into my injury and I think about it literally every single night uh, it's something that I have now it's part of my daily or nightly routine every night now what had happened was I ripped my super pubic catheter out of my bladder I pulled it out and if any of you guys know what the catheter looks like I actually have an older one here which I attached to my pliers because it's just easier for me to hold but um, as you can see, there's a balloon on the end of the catheter. And I only have five mils in this balloon right here. And I usually only fill my balloons up to seven mil anyways, because the bigger balloon is just uncomfortable in my bladder. But I actually ripped that out of my bladder one night. And the way that that happened, um, so I, you know, not having finger function as a quad to pull up my sheets and blankets which a lot of times I have to do because my my knee or my legs are playing sheet karate all night, just kicking the crap out of everything. And in in doing so, they usually kind of tie up my sheet or blanket, usually the sheet, but sometimes both. Um, they tie up around my ankles, around my feet. So they're really kind of stuck in there and it'll start to I'll kick up, grab the blanket, and then it pulls my legs kick out and I pull the blanket away. So it actually kind of kicks off of me. So what I'll do is try to like, you know, grab with two hands and, and pull it up. And one of the other things I'll do sometimes is I'll take the horn hand and kind of like wrap the sheet and blanket around it, kind of get like a little wrap so that I can get a good yank on it, you know, cause I don't have the finger function to hold it. So I do that and I yank up. Now what had happened was I didn't realize that the catheter tube was kind of long and I had accidentally wrapped the catheter in with my sheet when I went when I did that I you know I don't have good enough feelings where I, I couldn't feel I couldn't tell and so when I went and I yanked up to pull my blanket up I felt a really weird jolt through my body I got like dysreflexic I got a headache like immediately um, I kind of got broke into a little sweat and was just like you know what the heck was that like trying to figure it out and so I I lifted up the blanket and I pulled the sheet and I, I kind of like released my hand and as I released my hand I just saw this giant balloon sitting on the bed next to my uh, next to my leg and it was just sitting there on the bed and I looked and saw the opening in my my you know my bladder right here where the super pubic supposed to be coming out of was just open and pouring out kind of reddish uh, urine you know it was there was definitely some blood in the urine. Um, so after <laughs> freaking out to myself for a few minutes, and this was at like 3.30 in the morning, it was literally the middle of the night. Uh, so after freaking out for a while, I kind of debated with myself, do I just call 911? Do I, you know, just call my dad? Which it was a, I think it was a Friday or Saturday night and it was a weekend night. Uh, he didn't end up answering his phone, so I called my brother who also lives with us and uh, he woke up, he answered the phone and I was like, I told him, you know, I had a major emergency and I really needed him to come downstairs. So he came down um, and I kind of told him the situation. I showed him the catheter. Uh, we sort of debated on whether we should try to call, you know, 911 to go to the hospital and get it replaced because at that point I was still pretty new with it. Um, and only had the caregiver do it. Jeff, my brother, had never even seen it done before. But I figured, what the heck, I, I, I know how it's supposed to work. I have extra catheter changing kits and I have an extra catheter. So let's just try to throw this thing back in here. Uh, so what I did was, um, uh, I just basically had him open the kit. You know, we pulled the blanket out, like got kind of free, pulled the old catheter out of the way. Um, I. <laughs> Walked him through step by step, you know, like I had him open it up, pull everything out, get it all ready, had the uh, lube and iodine and all that stuff ready. Um, we reinserted the new balloon, the new catheter, filled up the balloon, 
um, to seven to seven mil, and I use only uh, the ten mil balloon or five to ten mil, whatever. Um, it has like a ten mil max, and that is because my bladder is very sensitive. So the big thirty mil balloons really irritate my bladder. They give me way more sediment, just way more irritation in the bladder. So that's one of the other reasons why I do the smaller one, which luckily it was smaller because if it was like a 30 mil balloon, I don't know if it would have yanked out. Uh, and if it would have, it would have been huge to pull through that hole. So it definitely would have, I, I probably would have had to go to the hospital for that. Um, so luckily I do only keep the, the seven mil in there. Um, but I, so I had them reinflate. Um, it was a little bit bloody around the site but I got through the night, I slept, I called my doctor the next day, I went to see the doctor, I told him the story, um, they checked out the catheter, gave me an ultrasound kind of in the area to see if anything looked weird in there, um, everything seemed fine, they didn't, then they did not uh, you know, also an uh, x-ray just to check on everything, because I used to get a lot of bladder stones and stuff as well, so I was getting those things done regularly. Um, and yeah, we checked it all out, everything seemed fine, it was all good. Uh, it was a little like I think just damaged in there because I had some just discomfort for the next week or so but besides the discomfort and all that it sort of was fine uh, it was just really scary uh, not something I ever want to go through again and it's something that I literally every single night when I do my thing I reach down I make sure I can feel the catheter I'll most of the time see if I can see the catheter pull it up out of the way and clearly get my sheet and blanket only sheet and blanket and and do my you know yank up to pull to pull it off of my feet and to kind of get it loose again and get it up high enough to get covered so yeah if you guys do want any more uh, of the story videos uh, there are gonna be plenty more to come other catheter videos good bad ugly all kinds of stuff um, and then also any videos for just how to instructional stuff and any of my regular style videos Go ahead and click that subscribe button then if you haven't already And if you really want to you can click the bell next to it, which will notify you anytime I post a new video And uh, if you guys like the video, please click the like button any questions comments or anything like that below in the comment section I will definitely get to those and get back to you and uh, like always guys live to roll and let's get a fist bump See you guys in the next one.